How's it going everyone? Welcome to the House of Horror and today we're going to be taking a look at all my horror Blu-rays and DVDs. I am in no way saying that this collection is the best collection on the internet. It's actually very, very far from it. In fact, a ton of my friends actually have collections that are way bigger than this one. But I thought this would be a fun video to do and Halloween time is my favorite time of the year. So I just felt like doing it. So let's just dive right in. Um, the way I do my section is alphabetical, obviously, and I try to leave some space um, everywhere I can I'm actually kind of running out of wiggle room here But I just hate it when you have like one DVD that you're trying to fit and you have to shift everything down after it because there's no space so I always try to leave some sort of Space, but as I said, um, it's getting pretty cramped as it is so I guess let's just start right here at the beginning um, I start with numbers and I actually have one number movie I guess 28 days later um, adjust your tracking. So this isn't exactly a horror movie, but I think it counts enough because it's about collecting VHS, specifically um, horror VHS. So I think it kind of fits in the horror genre, even though it technically is a documentary. I've also got the big box VHS up there, um, but it was a combo pack, so I took the DVD out and put it here. Alien 3, um, <laughs> this is the only Alien movie I own for some reason. I really should get the other ones. Um, the only reason I have this one by itself is because I wanted to get all the David Fincher films and this was his first film. Uh, unfortunately it's actually not his best work um, but nonetheless I've got like a four movie pack here not much to say um, labeled it under altered and we got Amityville Horror, American Psycho one of my favorites a lot of people argue that this isn't a horror film either um, I can definitely see it not being a horror film but I think it fits the category enough and we've got American Werewolf in London, um, very high on the comedy, but still at its core, it works just as well as a horror movie. Army of Darkness, um, I have this up here instead of with the Evil Deads because it starts with an A and because I have Ash vs. the Evil Dead right next to it. So I just figured keep those ones together and keep the original Evil, Evil Deads together. So that's what I did. Babadook, a lot of people think this is a very overrated movie. I think it's kind of overrated, but I feel, I still think it's pretty good. Um, Bad Taste from Peter Jackson. Um, a lot of people don't know that he made a bunch of crazy movies before he did Lord of the Rings. Basket Case, everyone knows this is the scariest movie of all time, if you've ever seen it. I've got this shitty, like, Bela Lugosi three movie pack. White Zombie's cool. Um, I haven't actually seen the other two, but I bet that they're pretty bad. Black Cat. Want to watch this one, haven't gotten around to it. I saw this from Monster Madness a few years ago. Black Gloves, this is Laurie Brewster's latest film that he released. Still haven't watched it yet, but I hope to watch it very, very soon. Uh, the Blob, the original Blob, I don't have the 80s Blob for some reason. The Burning with George Costanza, that's a good one, I highly recommend that one. Cabin in the Woods, not much to say. Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, this is one of my favorite silent films of all time definitely recommend this one um yeah i i wish more people gave love to the silent films um i think they're really good but carrie and christine got some stephen king action cinemassacre collection the cinematic catastrophes got the chucky films box set except for the new one um i have seen the new one on netflix the new one's actually really good actually Cloverfield, not much to say. Got the two Coffin Joe movies, labeled them in C for Coffin Joe. I really like the artwork on these. This At Midnight, I'll Take Your Soul, and then This Night I Possessed Your Corpse. Uh, these movies are really good. Um, I haven't seen um, the newest one, the one that came out in the 2000s, but I want to see that one. Creep Show, decent movie. I think that one's slightly overrated. I still think it's good, but it's not one of my favorites. Dawn of the Dead, classic movie. Day the Earth Stood Still. Uh, this could definitely go in sci-fi, but I decided to put it in my horror films. Um, Dead Alive, another crazy, crazy Peter Jackson movie. Dead and Breakfast, so this is kind of like a musical. Um, it's, it's pretty crazy, me and my friends watched it a few years ago. Um, it's a good time. Dead Zone, another Stephen King. The Dead or the Better, another Cinemassacre film. Um, it's about the dead that come back to life and you have to shoot them in the head or destroy the brain to kill them. It happens to all dead bodies. Um, they kind of did this with the uh, Cemetery Man movie, um, but I like this version too. Um, Deathgasm, haven't watched this one yet, but I mean, come on, just look at that. So right here, got Death Proof, awesome movie. The Descent, uh, this movie scared the shit out of me when I was little. 
Um, Devil's Rejects and House of a Thousand Corpses, Rob Zombie movies. Dracula. Okay, so this is the 75th anniversary edition. You're going to see many, Jesus Christ, many more versions of Dracula throughout this. Sorry about the, the quality of this. I'm kind of just kind of by myself here. So let's see. We got this other Dracula pack. This is the Christopher Lee Draculas, obviously. Fun movies. Dan Curtis Dracula. So like I said, I have a lot of Dracula movies, but you're going to see even more copies of this one later on. Uh, this is the one with Frank Langella, and this was the one with Jack Palance. I don't know if I mentioned that was with uh, Jack Palance. Um, right here is Bram Stoker's Dracula. It also comes with Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Uh, Dracula Dead and Loving It. A lot of people think this movie is ass, but I just think the comedy in this is so, like, niche. Like, you kind of need to know everything about Dracula lore to really get this movie. So I think mass audiences, it's not really for them, it's mainly for super, super hardcore Dracula fans. Because uh, Mel Brooks did a really, really good job, but it just doesn't appeal to a very wide range of people. Drag Me to Hell, Drag Me to Hell, Dust Till Dawn, and let's head down. Those were A through D, so now we start with E. This is the Ed Wood box set. Again, not all of these are horror, but I mean like kind of... I don't really know what you would label these under besides horror. Um, Eraserhead, one of my favorites. Okay, so here are the two Evil Deads. Um, they're pretty shitty quality. I should really get it. look into getting better versions of these because these are two of my favorite movies. But I don't know, I kind of like the shitty quality of it because, I mean, it's not like they're the most high-budget thing anyway. The Eye, uh, this was a gift. Uh, I do not think I've watched this. Uh, I might have though, and don't remember. Exorcist, Exorcist 2, and uh, actually, that was Exorcist 3, that's out of order. And Exorcist 2, so all three Exorcists. Um, yeah, not much to say about that. Extraordinary Tales, this is the work of Edgar Allan Poe. It's all animated, uh, narrated by some very interesting people. Um, yeah, it's a pretty cool, interesting movie. The Fly and The Fly, this is both the original and the David Cronenberg, Jeff Goldblum version. I personally prefer the old one, but they're both good. They're just very, very, very different. So we've got some Frankenstein films. We're going to see more Frankenstein later on. Um, but yeah, Frankenstein. So I've got Friday the 13th box set, along with Jason Goes to Hell, Freddy vs. Jason, Jason X. Uh, we got Fright Night. Fun 80s vampire movie. Got Get Out. I loved Get Out. Um, that's another one people think is really overrated. Um, I liked it. I don't know. I really liked it. We've got The Girl Who Walks Home Alone at Night. I haven't seen this one yet. This one's been on my watch list for a while. And I'm very excited to watch it. That's another vampire film. We've got Gojira. Jesus Christ. Godzilla's destroying everything. And we've got... Godzilla, King of the Monsters, the English version. And we've got the Legendary Pictures version. Got Gremlins and Gremlins 2, the new batch. So those are all the way up to G, so let's keep going on to the next letter. Uh, my arm is really getting tired, by the way. Uh, so I apologize if this is a little shaky. We've got the Hagstone Demon here, if I can get it out. Hagstone Demon, this is with Mark Borchardt from American Movie. Um, I haven't watched this one yet. This is another one that's on my list. Um, but I'm really excited to watch that one. American Movie is one of my favorites. So we've got all the Halloween films. Halloween 1, Halloween 2, Halloween 3, Halloween 4, which is in this really obnoxious, big-ass case for some reason. I don't know why it's in that case. Halloween 5, Halloween 6, and Halloween 6, The Producer's Cut which I've seen the shitty like bootleg version of it, but I have not seen this digitally restored one, so I might have to get that one to watch sometime soon. Got H2O, Resurrection. This is kind of like a, a documentary about the Halloween films 25 Years of Terror, um, which came out 25 years after the release of the original. So we've got the Rob Zombie films, the first one and the second one, which is a guilty pleasure of mine. This movie's ridiculous. We've got Hatchet, very fun movie. The Haunting, this movie is really, really good. Um, 
do not watch the remake. Just watch this one. This one's amazing. Haxon, this is another silent film. I definitely recommend this one as well. This one is pretty interesting. It's like half documentary about witchcraft and space and time and all that. And the other half is a horror movie. It's really cool. Hell of Heathridge. Uh, I helped work on this one. Uh, maybe more about that on a later date. So we've got Hellraiser. And we've got a Hellraiser double feature. And then I have a Hellraiser box set with all of them so I've got many copies of Hellraiser for some reason so this is one of those like horror movie packs so this is horror hall of fame it's got 26 classic horror films classic horror films um I bet there's maybe like two or three on there that are actually decent but I bet the rest are really really bad so we've got house haven't watched this one yet but I heard it's supposed to be nuts we've got the hunchback Notre Dame Nosferatu Obviously, two more silent films, which I both recommend. Idle Hands. Uh, this movie is pretty funny. Um, it's it's kind of dated. Um, this is another one that probably could have went in horror. I mean, in a uh, comedy, but it's horror enough, so I keep it in there. Fun fact: Tom DeLonge actually plays um, a fast food worker in this. Tom DeLonge from Blink One Eighty Two. Um, so that's a pretty interesting fact. Incubus with William Shatner. Uh, not much to say about that one, except for. The stuff everyone knows it was filmed in a language called esperanto which not a lot of people speak but people speak it all over the world so they wanted to have like this mass market appeal but it did not do very well because not enough people speak it in a big enough area so it kind of flopped that that's actually predates star trek by the way um so this is one of shatner's first things the invitation fun movie insidious one and two um I liked, I liked Insidious 3, I didn't really like Insidious 4, um, but I only own the first two. Um, Interview with the Vampire, no, no, another really good movie. Intruder, one of my favorite slashers, really fun, uh, doesn't take itself seriously at all. Got the original It, I don't own the new one yet, I'd like to, I like the new one. It Follows, interesting movie at the time, this one again is a little overrated, but I think it's still good. Got Jaws, one of the... This was the first actually like blockbuster movie, so very, very good movie. Jurassic Park, this is a horror film. Watch it again, this is a horror film. I can definitely see people putting it in sci-fi and fantasy and science fiction. I think I said science fiction, adventure. But for me, this is a horror film, so I keep it with my horror films. I have this King Kong um, big box for the anniversary that has some cool stuff in it. Um, it actually came with the other Kong films that has Son of Kong and Mighty Joe Young, which is kind of like a spiritual successor, but I actually took those out and put those alphabetical, so. Let the Right One In, another really good vampire film. I have not seen the American version, but I like I like this version. I want to see the American one. I've got Leprechaun Origins. Uh, I basically just have this because Hornswoggle's in it. I haven't watched it yet, but interesting stuff. So we got Lord of Tears, the first Lori Brewster feature film uh, and let's see look at that guy look at that face that is me on a fucking blu-ray I'm never gonna get over that so we've got legend of the blue hole this is another cinemassacre film uh, this one's good um, definitely check this one out it's on his website so check that one out um, so now we're getting towards the bottom here so uh, gonna sit down and see what we got down here. And also, I have no idea how many I actually own, so if someone wants to tally those up in the comments for me, you can, you can go ahead and do that, I guess. So you got Man with the Screaming Brain. This is Bruce Campbell. Fun, interesting, it's, it's a bad movie, but you know, it's fun. We've got Maniac, one of my, another one of my favorites. Everyone knows that that movie's awesome. We've got Han Manos, The Hands of Fate. This is notoriously known as like the worst movie of all time. I haven't watched it yet, so I can't speak about it, but I plan on watching it very soon. So Monsters Crash the Pajama Party. This is kind of like a clip collection DVD. You kind of just like scroll around the menus and it'll play like random clips and nothing's labeled. So you can like just goof around with this for hours and hours watching like really crazy clips of horror movies from back in the day. Um, Mighty Joe Young, as I said, that came with the, the King Kong box set, but I took it out and put it over here. Miner's Massacre. We found this in Jared's garage and he told me to take it, so I took it. Haven't watched it yet, obviously. Misery, classic, classic movie. 
Mothman prophecies. Um, you could probably put this under crime or something else other than horror as well, but it's definitely a horror film. So you've got The Mummy. This is the version with Christopher Lee, the hammer version of The Mummy. Murder Party. Haven't watched this one yet, but I heard it's supposed to be very good. Um, found out about this one through the Nostalgia Critic, actually. Uh, My Bloody Valentine 3D. No idea why I own this, but I do. Night of the Creeps. Um, haven't watched this since I was a little kid. Um, I, well, not a little kid, like junior high, but want to watch that again at some point. George Romero, Night of the Living Dead. Classic, classic movie. Nightbreed. Finally watched this. I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fun, but for a while... They did not have a release of it that was very good. So this is the director's cut. This is the full thing. So we got some four movie packs. All the Nightmare on Elm Streets. Fun stuff. Got Nosferatu. The Klaus Kinski version. Got Oculus. Love this movie. This is one of my favorite recent horror films. Got Omen box set. It's got the Omen films from back in the day. Pan's Labyrinth. Guillermo del Toro. Good stuff. Got Paranormal Activity box set. Well, not a box, just a Blu-ray pack. Paranormal Activity 4. Party Line. I think this came like bundled with another DVD that I got. Haven't watched it. Pet Cemetery. Phantom of the Opera. Another silent film. Watch this. Watch all the silent films that I brought up because I own the good ones. So, Poltergeist, the original. And Poultry Geist. Yeah. Interesting. Prom Night. We've got Pumpkinhead, which is a good movie. Special effects are insane. Reanimator, classic, classic movie. Jesus Christ, I wish I had a friend. <laughs> Return of the Living Dead. Return of the Vampire, which stars Bella Lugosi as a vampire, but not, not Dracula. Um, let's see. Rosemary's Baby. I think this movie kind of sucks, actually. Um, but I own it nonetheless. Rocky Horror Picture Show. Could probably put this under comedy, but has horror in the title. So I'll keep it with my horror movies. The bottom shelf all the way on the floor. Let's see. I guess I can lay down here. Holy shit. Sorry about this video quality. I'm sorry. This is ass. Um, Salem's Lot. Vampires. Stephen King. Can't go wrong. Dear Jesus. Ah, help! Got Saw box set, all the Saw films. Sci-fi creature features, um, just labeled under sci-fi. Got some crappy movies on there. The Shining, classic film. Silence of the Lambs, another classic film. And apparently I have two copies of The Sixth Sense. Don't know why. Sleepaway Camp, another classic slasher movie for the twist ending. Son of Kong, um, they rushed this out in like a year after the original Kong, so for what it is, it's really good. Super 8, could probably put this under sci-fi, but put it under horror. Suspiria, um, very artsy, very interesting film. Ardario Argento isn't one of my favorites, but I still appreciate what he did for the genre. We've got... Texas Chainsaw Massacre, not the original, but here is the original, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Got the stuff, crazy, crazy movie. They Live, fun movie with Roddy Piper. Got The Thing, the original thing. Got the John Carpenter 80s thing, and got the new thing. Um, I like all three of them actually. I think the special effects in the last one are pretty bad. But overall, I think it's a good movie, and I like how it tied into the other ones. This is the end. This I don't know why I put this in horror. This needs to be in comedy. But I guess it's about the end of the world, and there's monsters in it. So, whatever. And Jonah Hill gets raped by a demon and becomes one. So, This could also be in comedy, but it's just got like some Disney horror films, like Haunted Mansion, Tower of Terror, stuff like that. Trick or Treat. Love this movie. Jared thinks it sucks for some reason, but I really like that movie. Troll and Troll 2, uh, not much to say. Tusk, pretty disturbing film. Um, this is one of the first, if not the first, Kevin Smith of the horror films he's been doing. This movie I've been wanting to watch for a long time. 
Uncle Boon Me Who Can Recall His Past Lives. I mean, just look at that cover. I mean, like, this movie, I think it's going to be awesome, but I haven't gotten around to watching it yet. Under the Skin, another one I haven't watched yet, but I'm looking forward to seeing that. Unkindness of Ravens, for some reason it's facing the wrong way. Unkindness of Ravens, this is another Laurie Brewster film. Um, this one's good. I like this better than Lord of Tears. Maybe I'll review that on the channel sometime soon. So here's all the Universal films. Labeled it under Universal. So this has got all the Dracula films, even though there's Dracula and Dracula's daughter. But it's got all the Wolfman, Mummy, Invisible Man, Frankenstein, Creature from the Black Lagoon. Um, just everything. And it's got like a bunch of bonus features and cool stuff on it. So this is pretty pricey, but I do recommend this if you can get your hands on it. Urban Legend. Um, haven't watched this, but it has Robert England in it, I think. Um, so this one could be fun. I don't know. This is a vampire documentary. Not much to say. Um, it's not very good, but whatever. You know I like vampires, so. Videodrome. Crazy, crazy movie. You got this Vincent Price box set. Um, it's got The Raven, Pit in the Pendulum, Madhouse, Tales of Terror, and The Mask of the Red Death. So... All decent movies, some very good movies, but all movies that are good. Got Waxwork and Waxwork 2. Actually, I have two copies of this. Uh, I don't know where the other one is. I think I have it just randomly on the other shelf. When a Stranger Calls, um, the remake. Uh, my brother really, really loves this movie, and I think this is his, actually, that I have. Um, the Wicker Man, uh, the original. Got Young Frankenstein, so this could be in comedies as well, but... It's Frankenstein, I'll keep it with the horror. And we got Zombie and Zombie Land. And Zombie Land could probably be in comedy as well, but whatever. So that's about it. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm gonna get up here. So those are all my horror films, and I hope you didn't find this video too boring. Again, I have no idea how many I have, but I've got a lot, and I wanna get more. So sorry I just babbled on, but if you were interested in seeing all the films that I own, there you go. And as always, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you click that red subscribe button, smash like on this video, and if you could share this with a friend and leave me a comment, that would be rad. So that's about it. Thanks for checking out this episode of the House of Horror, and we will see you next time with another video. Take care, guys.